Hello there, fellow audio engineers, people who sit in dark rooms and make incredible music all day long. You awesome people, you. Today we're going to discuss whether or not you can set up a home studio for $300 or even cheaper. Let's discuss your options. First off, getting a home studio up and running is not as expensive as it used to be. The days of needing a million dollar SSL console or huge dynamic rooms, those days are behind us. And although that era will forever be remembered and even idolized by some, Nowadays, a person with some determination and willingness to learn can actually produce some great sounding music on the cheap. So, what do you need to get up and running? Well, let's cover some of the preliminaries first. The price point that we're shooting for, this $300 range, is actually built with a few things already in place. For instance, I'm going to assume that you already have a computer and some headphones lying around, as well as your instrument of choice. I'm also going to assume that you have a program that's capable of mixing, editing, mastering, cataloging all of your finished projects. These are all things that for the most part, if you're here, I'm sure you already have. Now, if you don't have the program that I just spoke of, that you need to do all that with, don't worry, there are several free options that rival the paid versions, and I will include links below to some of those. Now, I personally use Cakewalk by BandLab, and I have several videos that's here on my channel that can help you to get up and running with it if that would be the one that you should so choose to use. All right, so we got the prerequisites out of the way, so what's next? Well, in order to get your creative ideas from your head into tangible files that you can actually manipulate, you need an audio interface. Now, this is the bridge from your instrument or your voice to cross over into the digital realm. It simply takes an analog signal and then converts that into a digital one so that you can then alter it with your audio program. By the way, the audio program that I keep speaking of, the correct term for that program is actually a digital audio workstation, or a DAW, D-A-W. Now, audio interfaces are very affordable these days and they come with exceptional quality. Now, if you're tempted to use the mic jack that's on your computer, you have to know that most onboard audio interfaces are not installed with recording high fidelity music in mind. However, if you do want to get started as quickly as possible, I completely understand, that is an option. But don't expect too much out of it because most of the time they can actually cause noisy artifacts and things that cannot be removed from your audio. Alright, the next thing that you're going to need is a microphone. Yet again, these are relatively inexpensive and following the technology trends, their quality is actually on par with some of those legends of the million dollar days. Some things to look for when purchasing a mic at first is a relatively flat EQ response and some good reviews either on YouTube or Amazon. But most of the starter mics that are on the market will actually have a bump in the two to three to kilohertz range, which is the frequency that clarity resides for a vocal. With a little practice, however, and proper mic placement, you can get a good sound out of these and use them in mixes all day long. Okay, so third, you're going to need a way to monitor and to listen back to those recordings. This can either be the headphones that you already have, or you could actually upgrade to a solid set of cans or some reference monitors. Ultimately, these are the three things that you need to get up and running. It's not that much. Now, let's go over some options and some gear that I highly recommend as well. Option number one, this is a Focusrite package and they have everything you need here to get up and running. Their products are excellent in quality as well as in build. The audio fidelity is second to none. Now, option number two, Personas makes some really solid equipment, both in build quality as well as audio fidelity. And included with this package is actually a Studio One, a DAW that a lot of people like. Joe Gilder over at Home Studio Corner has a ton of videos to help you out with this particular DAW if this one floats your boat. Option number three, if you want to do more research and legwork, you can actually piece together your bundle as well. With free DAWs and eBay, you can actually get a pretty nice little rig at the risk of being scammed by some internet D-bag selling bunk goods. So in order to help you find everything that you need in one place, I've compiled a list on my website where you can shop for everything that I recommend right there. All right, that's it for today. If you have any more questions about the gear or if I missed your favorite affordable brand, drop that beat down below and help the community. Let's all discuss it. Until next time, guys, remember, music is the universal language that spans the great divide. So go make some.